It is no longer news that Governor Yesenwike of River State imposed a lockdown on Port Harcourt and Obiakwa local government areas as to control the spread of COVID-19. It is yet to be seen what life is like for the residents of these areas. So our Ephraim Emanuel took a trip and now brings us the look and feel of the two busiest and largest local council councils under lockdown. Here we go. This is Port Harcourt, the Garden City, and the headquarters of Nigeria's oil and gas sector. Now deserted following the outbreak of COVID-19 and the lockdown to stay at home. Streets, business centers, hotels, markets, and even petrol stations have remained closed in compliance with the lockdown. The only occupants on the roads are security operatives enforcing the lockdown. Hungry. And don't get it wrong here, all these people are not prisoners, but residents of Port Harcourt City and Obiakwa local government areas obeying the lockdown. While these measures are taken by government to curtail the spread of the virus, it was however an emotional moment listening to the family of Agatha and others lament what life is like under the lockdown. With eight children, uh, I am the, uh, with the father, all of us is there. We don't have money already to have full stock and children are full in the house so they are hungry they are crying they stop me my son is sick i don't feel by medicine i don't work everywhere to find where i will buy drugs i don't see even i go knock meet one of my neighbor where they sell drugs so i'm making help me open my buy drugs in my bikini the man tell me say governor say everybody should go and stay in their house i like what thing governor do I like and where, where, where. It's to save life. Some people don't understand. But what if the beg saying there's no food? As we they indoor, no food. No light is safe. Heat. Heat rashes to all the whole children. Not in day. Pure water now, they buy and 200 naira. That's 120 naira for, for one sachet. Like most of us who doesn't have food, most of us who doesn't have uh, 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 where to get anything palliative. We don't get food, we don't get light. Nothing, the way we are just dead dry, nothing for us, not even water safe to bath, because if as light, no day. I just went to get drugs for my children, but all the pharmacies I tried to reach, they are all locked down, you know, no store, the stores are all locked, and uh, it's really, it's really not really good with us. I've exhausted my food, and there is no way of going out again, and I please, I need the government to come and do something. And my Peter said, yes, since yesterday, since today, I want a cup of garlic, that made my friends here. One cup of garlic, nothing we don't eat, nothing. There is no, no, nowhere to get money. She said, we would eat from heart to mouth. Like me, I conduct her the do. So you pay me daily pay, I chop from there. But now, no conductor work, no nothing. For this tanker driver caught up by the lockdown three days ago, Port Harcourt Azikiwe Road has now become his home. If not for the lockdown, at least as this thing is point now, that mechanic for rush, Kondwa. But our mechanic, they fear, because of the lockdown, say everywhere are block, no way we don't go take Reach here. As River State continues to record new cases of COVID-19, the sufferings of these people may not end soon, except the State Executive Council reviews the lockdown. Ifribi Manuel, report.